right, we back with some more Persona. Basically, right now, we did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we found out the chairman was actually a bad guy. I This whole time, I was not trusting him. It turns out I was right. Um, and then Mitsuru's dad died. And now, basically, because we can go back into uh, Tartarus. But basically, I am waiting to see if I'll get Mitsuru back. Or I guess when I get Mitsuru back before I go into Tartarus, which I don't know what. Like, is it still operating on full moons? Like, the, I, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna find out together. Hey there. Yep. A hot stud muffin. We have a new transfer too. Isn't this late? 2F. I'm in 2E, right? 2F is... That's Fuka's class, right? Never mind. It's the other way around. Who the freak is transferring now? All right, everyone. Who is this? Today we have yet another transfer student. Is this really our third one? Guess that makes it a hat trick. What's that look for? Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Wait. Is this the little boy? Hold on. I don't know why I kind of feel hear a little bit of his voice in there. He also has the mole. Hey, he's kinda cute. I was thinking the same thing. Was this death? Nice to meet you. He was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work, and that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, this definitely has seat. to be the Let's little see. little death boy. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Um, Miss Toriyumi, that seat's taken. That was said last time, too. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Yeah, I'm like, that's what she said Life last time. It's just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Alright. Uh huh. <laughs> She's like, if you say so. <sighs> Does she know? Hey there. I'm sorry. I didn't catch her name. You didn't catch anyone's name. You. Are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Is she recognizing him as like a shadow? Dinner? Huh. Hmm? I guess what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Your teacher understands. Okay. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? Pay close attention, all right? What the freak? I, wait, 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 wait. What's starting next week? School trip to where? Mochizuki-kun! How was your first day after transferring? I hope you like it here, Mochizuki-kun. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Tea. Oh, Mochizuki-kun? Sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. Okay. And let's see. I guess. Right. Could you come along too? Why me? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Wait a second. Based off the based off the stuff with the hermit, 
I'm pretty sure that she was the friend. Is she about to con confess to me for some reason? She says she had a crush on me. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. That's definitely the little boy. See you tomorrow. That's definitely him. Uh, sorry. Hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Why me? <laughs> yes. You know where the music room is, right? I yes. think the boxes are full of sheet music. I have... really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I have been in there, I think. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekota. I mean, d Mr. Ekota has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. That's Mr. E. Come on, <coughs> we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? What? Joking. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, what? I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? This is the little boy. I hear the tone. The way he talks. Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, Stronger than you look, huh? The last time we did talk to him, last the last time we talked to him was during the day, though. Oh, are you on a sports team, like baseball or soccer? I do I run track. Team too. I do run track. I'd like to join one too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. What? This caught my eye when we walked in. I noticed you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music. Is he about oh, to start playing like? To break the ice between us. Is he about to play some Velvet Room music? Great. Here goes. That is not Velvet Room music. What was the song that Elizabeth played? I forgot. <laughs> How was that? Any good? I thought if I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet. So I want to keep learning and trying new things. This has to be him. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? We're already friends. Oh, <laughs> thanks. It does somehow feel like we've known each other for a long time already. It's the little boy! I'm telling you! So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right. I think we exchange phone numbers. I think. Okay, yeah, bro. This, this, you don't have a phone. Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Or you don't have Why a phone don't you at all. Why just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with. Okay. It's the will is death. First off. Alright, I guess. Um, it 
it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. Ah, okay. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Are they actually um, your girlfriends? At least, the way he said that. It... Um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Is this a joke to you? <laughs> I don't think I'm it is. I'm sorry if I offended you. But I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. Making a move. That's a problem. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. Qu quit messing with us. Give me your phone. I'm going to delete all the contact info you have. All of it? Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his I time? am the Travis Long. Travis Long. I said my name wrong. I am the Travis Long. Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I'm known. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai okay. and the student council president. Okay. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... We're gonna get punched. And then expelled. <laughs> I don't... I feel like Mitsuru can't get somebody expelled. Maybe put well, in detention. Stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend too. First, first off, I don't have one yet. But we're gonna work on that, Mitsuru. Second off, he doesn't know which ones are your girlfriends. He just said that, so how can he delete them? Sorry, I didn't mean to make trouble for you. Well, you did. It's tough being popular. It's it's not your fault. No, considering how angry they were, I'd say I probably was at fault here. Right, from now on, <coughs> I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. They should also say no. But I mean, you can have a friends. It depends what. They, the way they they've been talking about them though, it seems like they like him, so they should say no. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. <sighs> what a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. Do it. <sighs> I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. See now, tell me about the time when you were a little boy and you were talking to me at night in my room in the dark hour. And about how your name was Pharos. Pharos? Pharos? I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? Yes. I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means I think to it does. like someone. Do you have someone like that? Not yet. That's a secret. That's a secret. <laughs> is that how it is? Well, maybe you can tell me once we get to know each other better. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in the city, our classmates in the school, and you. And me, <sighs> Travis. Oh, I want to know more about all of it. All right. Uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat How? you to ramen. Raymond? I just had some with Junpei Kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. 
morning. That's good. Yes. How would I know? Uh. <laughs> I don't think she's going to. ignored him. <laughs> she just completely turned around and walked away. That's like, that's like how she treats Junpei. I think I think that your rep with her is already in the toilet. Right? There you are. Finally found you. Hey, Takeba. I wasn't expecting to see her again right now. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. And other things. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. She, if, if she skips it, she's going to be like sitting in her room staring in the dark or something. Staring at the wall in the dark. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad, too. And I know what that's like. Takeba. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> Who else? There she is! Why is he here? I've been looking everywhere for you. Why do you know her? Oh, wait. Is she in the top 10 list that Junpei talked about? Uh huh? Ryoji -kun? He killed the music! Why are you up here? That's all I'm saying. Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. Who is some guy? He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, Odagiri Kun. He'll hit up anyone in arm's okay. reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you. Mitsuru Kirijo-san? And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Bro. Maybe we could go out sometime? That's me! <laughs> I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. A five-star hotel? The restaurant here? up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai! You better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Don't get caught up in this man. Ignore him. Talk about. Thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. Yukari did that too, though. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. 
Oh yeah, she said attend to my duties for now. Yeah, for now. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? She's just gonna walk off. I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Did she punch him? Ow. Okay, <laughs> okay. She's just putting her hands on people. I hope we make some good memories. Is something gonna happen? I hope we make some good memories. We're gonna make some type of memories. Oh, I was like this. I just huh? thought you're not a fan. We went to Kyoto. This is where we was at. City to this is where we was at when we went to Kyoto. Man, is that really the first thing you think? The thing that Can caught my attention like though was the giant, that kind of stuff. like the line of escalators. Because hmm? yeah, we saw that in Kyoto for sure. And then the tower. We actually had a um, a hotel in the Thank station, goodness. across she from the tower. here yet are we there yet Whoa, that's a old movie nice place yeah this part of town is pretty fancy hey what's that umbrella for i don't actually know ah i see so that's the style here in kyoto huh so which way do the geishas you think we can ask them to put on a show? Bruh. I mean, they're there, what, in the in the Gion district? But I don't think you can just go there. First off, it's not like he said Gyoto. <laughs> I don't know if I was just hearing things. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. Bro. You're a high schooler. Keep dreaming, Junpei. Outside is filled with water. I'm trying to remember what our hotel looked like. I can picture. I can picture what it looked like in the hallway. I don't remember what the room looked like. I've heard about? We did not have a hot spring in ours. No, that's. Right. This is the courtyard. Want to go out for a walk later? I guess. Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? My old school? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Is it? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't know. Me? I, Me? I obviously wouldn't know. A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? How do you not know? In high That's school? An event most people tend to remember. Did we really do trips in high school? Not really. It is? I don't remember that. All right, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. There's like this senior trip, I think. But Girls, I didn't go. your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. Because it went out of state. You heard her. Why, Why do you say it like that? We'll see you later then. Why do you say it like that? Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. What is happening? Okay, okay, enough of this. I'm like, what did I just miss? Why is everybody say? Well, hold on. Yeah, I was like, why are we- Vegas, you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man, 
Okay. He was trying to he was trying to switch it up. Man. What is Igis doing? Wait, Igis just wants to be with me, right? She was like legit on the same wavelength as this man. Oh, I can walk around. Okay. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? Because you're my friend, though. It was our fight that brought us together. And now that fight is over. That doesn't mean we can't still be together. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. The Dark Hour's you still no here, though. To associate with me anymore. The Dark Hour's still here. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Okay, just okay, okay. Just cause that sounds that sounds wrong to say. Just cause your dad died doesn't mean we need to just give all up on everything. That sounds wrong. Hold on. Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. Okay. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened. Per se, it looked like she was about to smack her. But... I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. Well, we all fell into it. My father bore Except the for me. Of responsibility entirely I didn't. On his own. I didn't trust him from the beginning. But technically, I had no reason not to trust them. I just, in the back of my head, was like, I don't really trust this guy, but I, I can't do anything else, so we're going with it. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. But it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? I feel like you getting involved wouldn't have changed things, to be honest. It might have prolonged things. She was the per the the first Persona user, is that what they said? Even if she ended up not being the first, somebody else would have ended up becoming the first. And <clears throat> stuff would have still went the way, it, not exactly the way, stuff would have still played out though, I feel like. Yep, I saw that coming a little. Sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> you know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. Oh. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. Oh, is that why she left her mom? used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. At that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but in the end, he fought to make things right. He sure did. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. I'm still trying to think, so who was writing all these notes? Because that last note was definitely from the antique lady. But did the dad write some too? Whose perspective are these? That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour. And finish yes. what my dad started. That's what I'm saying. The Dark Hour is still here, Mitsuru. Finish what he started. We still got stuff. That's all I can do. That we can do. Yes. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? And I feel like those dudes who jumped over the bridge aren't dead. We did not see a confirmed death. They just went over the edge. That doesn't mean they died. One piece logic. If you don't see them die, they probably didn't. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end. Yes. For my father's sake and for yours. Bro, that lady in the background got the creepiest face. Like, she don't have 
eyes or nose is just that creepy smile. What the heck? Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together. Okay? Yeah, now hug it out. Of course. Both of you know, hug it out. Alright, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. I know you want to hug it. The bath, bath is cool too, actually. Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Okay. Nothing? <laughs> okay. She's like, I mean. Well, now, this is awkward. Hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. Father. I'm not alone. Your father. What is that from? And I won't turn back anymore. Your father. I think it's from a YouTube video. You know, oh, there she goes. She, I, I'm over here thinking about a YouTube video. And I'm like, I need to message my friend to see where that's from. <coughs> While she's over here upgrading. So what does Penthesilea go to? What? Artemisia? Is that how you say? I don't know what the fruit that is. Massive almighty damage to one foe and decreases all of their stats. Alright. Please. Watch over me. She's about to freak some people up, bruh. Are you about to push me in? In front of all these people? We have witnesses to you pushing you me come in. All the way down here. Don't do it. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. Did you remember that you were a little boy? Well, we were all little boys once. All... I don't know what I'm talking about. I was a little boy once too, as in Travis. But you were different. Just like a week or two ago, you were literally a, week, a little boy. I'm pretty sure. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. You are deaf. I bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. If you play that in front of uh, I can't remember his name. I was gonna make a Bloodborne reference. The that first hunter that you fight when you play the music box that stuns them. I was gonna say Garman though. Garman is the Doesn't dude in the um, nice. wheelchair. I don't know the name of the song though. Gascoigne? Is that it? I don't know. You buy that anywhere. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. That kind of just ruins the moment. Sometime, you can buy that down anywhere. The line, I'll listen to this melody, and when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. You just have that in your back pocket. The evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. Don't Step push me in. We get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. There's Did multiple you know, reasons. A long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. Don't push me into the water. I can't swim. I may be Travis, but Travis can't swim. Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Oh. Ono, he was talking about it. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. Well, there is the river Styx for Greek mythology. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, yeah. every one of us will die someday, right? There's no need for it to happen right now. We can back away from the river. Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? The little boy was Why deaf. Do people try so hard to connect with and if child? you're actually the little boy, it makes sense for him to be talking about death, right? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, 
just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, but then you'd the be point? so lonely if you don't talk, if you don't connect with anyone. <laughs> That's literally what I was just saying. We'd be so lonely. So you mean we just can't stand the pain of being alone? But look at everyone around us. They've chosen their partners out of a large crowd, haven't they? So it's not about loneliness. They genuinely want to be with each other, right? Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. It's because we're by this river and you're thinking about river things. Looking out at the river just made me think about things. For That's some what I said! <laughs> Bruh. The fact that... If you follow the flow okay. of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its yeah. destination is already decided. We just need to back away from the river at this point. Before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm. Other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. That dirty water. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey. With all kinds of things happening as we go along. Did it have to be with him, though? I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. If my person was in a relationship... If Travis was in a relationship with someone, could we have went with someone else? Did Everything it have to be? Everything feels him? that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. I'm kind of getting like Mitsuki vibes from him. That's the snake dude from Boruto. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? Yes. But it's also sounding like Mitsuki, where he said that Boruto is his, his son, maybe? Or not actual son but like you know sun in the sky his guiding light whatever i think that's from the manga though i did i don't mess with the anime <clears throat> the wind is chilly out here by the water but we should probably head back I yes get in the way of all the couples we should move away from the river that river was dangerous <laughs> this is the first time i have seen a bathtub this large although it seems highly inefficient to leave the hot water running. Does she get in? Hold on. I imagine she doesn't get... First off, her feet. Her feet are not feeding right now. <laughs> Does nobody else question that? Second off, I don't think she should go into the bath. Because then people are going to see that, you know, she does not have a normal body. <laughs> I'm glad that Kirijo Senpai seems to be feeling better. Yes. I think you should know that eight I guess is downstairs and her feet are not feeding right now. I don't know if people are gonna question that, but I just thought you should know that. Sup? Wanna check out the outdoor hot spring? You told me that I have to. You said no ifs, ands, or buts. Sweet! I'll grab Sonata san and Ryoji so you can head back to the room and get ready. Spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others. Why are you in here with your hat on? Is that even allowed? No way, really? I feel like it's not. So there's a chance we could switch to girls only while we're still in here. I feel like they would let they they probably have some type of system to let everybody go. But even <clears throat> if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? I think it would be. That's true. Something like that actually happening, would it be our fault? I think it would be. I imagine that some staff person's gonna come in here and be like, y'all gotta get out. Not saying it like that, they will be very polite. But they'll be like, y'all gotta get out, the girls are coming in here in a certain amount of time. And then that'd just be y'all ignoring them. It's mo most likely how that would go. Don't you think? I keep almost hitting this fast forward button. I need to stop holding the controller with one hand. Yes. Blow up how? 
Even still, can't help but think maybe fate wants us to be here. I don't know about that. You are anyway, death. I was just asking. You want me to die? Serious. Do you remember what happened at the at the river? <laughs> hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? I mean, we are in the hot spring. So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Yojikun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? Okay. You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know. That it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow. This hot spring is huge. Of course. <laughs> they actually have... I guess what are you doing here? Y'all, you should not be allowed in here. First off, can you even get in the water? Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Isn't this what you wanted, Junpei? You can't, you can't yes. go freaking out. Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky room! Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! Isn't this what you wanted, Junpei? Why are you freaking out? <laughs> it's not like he's drowning. Who's that? Is someone there? Yes! We didn't know we had to leave. I'm sorry. This was, I didn't mean to do this. Travis apologizes. What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Yes, Travis is over here. Mitsuru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, I don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Can but she actually do guys that? Only when we got here. <coughs> it's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Yes, she did. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? will be executed. Travis is over here. Junpei got me to come in here. I didn't know what was about to happen. I didn't know it was switching. It's Junpei's fault. Uh, executed? That's me calling out to them. Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? Oh, freak. <laughs> she about to use her powers. It could be a ghost. Wait, it's not the dark hour. Never mind. A ghost? Oh. I forgot she's... <laughs> Scared okay. of that type of stuff. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. Are we? This is a life or death mission. Are we legit about to sneak fail. around? Calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Yay! You're leading this operation, oh aren't you? Gosh. No, this is your idea. Don't put me in on this. What the hell should we do? We'll hide in the steam because she's looking around the rock. Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. It seems like a wrong move. Because <laughs> I don't think the steam is going to cover us. We're just out in the open. The shadows. No, there's <coughs> no one here. See, you have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? We're legit just out in the open. Looks like we bought ourselves some time. If the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted. Mitsuru and Igus are probably close too. Can't afford to be careless here. I'm pretty but sure Igus because pick up on us use the duck as a red hair run for the exit okay no that's a 
to... <laughs> That's a trap. I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. Uh, what herring? Why is it red? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. He can explain later. Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. We know where they are now. This is our chance. Whoa, hang on! We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that. Just follow my lead. Wait, are we running? Whoa, so much confidence. You're like a natural born leader. Oh, well, you got us this Wait, hold on. Might as well go all in with you. Hold on. All right, let's move. I don't, I don't see this going well. Hmm? Oh, no, it couldn't be. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. I think she picked up on it. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess she, I was wrong. She heard the door open and nobody else heard it. Is it just me or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she making jokes now. Well, well, obviously. How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific... Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. I guess? Can she eat ice cream? Can she eat at all? Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. Okay, sure, that'll cool her down, but... <laughs> I don't know how, but we made it out. Why is I guess just walking too. around though like that? Like, isn't it an issue if people see that she's a robot? Like, what? One wrong step, and Mitsuru would have had our heads. I feel like Mitsuru is gonna come talk to us. Uh, where Junpei and Mochizuki go? Huh? Junpei Kun and Ryoji Kun are lying on the ground over there. Did they pass out? Their faces are all red. Okay. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. <laughs> Just leave them alone. Just leave them? Oh, looks like the heat got to them. Guess they got what was coming. Just leave them passed out on the ground. I. I. Okay, they were on the everyone. bullet train. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? No, I do not. You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. Okay. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. You're mostly. talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. That's what I'm gonna say. Don't talk about this. They're gonna overhear it. Mitsuru's gonna come up to us and say something. Here they come. Hmm? What's going on, guys? We're just waiting for the time to go back to the bullet train. Oh, uh, we're just having a, um... Reflection. Nope. Waiting to go back to the bullet train. Uh, what are you reflecting on? I don't know what he's reflecting on, but I'm reflecting on going back to the bullet train. Uh, uh, oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. This secret stays between us. Got it? You guys better take it to the grave. 
I forgot about her, I'm not gonna lie. What am I drawing? We never saw your first drawing. Why is this? Is it Jinpei? What? Is that a gun? <gasps> it's been a while. That's what I'm saying! I'm like, there's no way they were dead. We didn't see them die. That voice. You're not even injured. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments, if you would. Does he, did he get her an evoker? Here. Yep. I feel like that probably hurt a little. It probably has weight to it, right? Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. Where'd they get it from? Hold on. They said your? Oh. Ikutsuki <laughs> made it. Well, I feel like he wasn't working with them. <gasps> Does she want to? Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? I feel like... Does she want to? Kaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. Is she gonna say no and then is he gonna shoot her? You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. <laughs> you need only fear while he's holding his hand on the gun. His fault. Junpei? Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. Okay. She likes him, and she doesn't understand that. I think and that's now, what it is. I'm afraid to die. Hey, Jinori, hurry it up. <sighs> Magia, let's go. <laughs> okay. I think she just doesn't understand her feelings. I feel like it's not gonna go well for her though. By the end of this, I don't think she's gonna still be alive, but I could be wrong, I don't know. All right, and then now we go to the shrine. And we're gonna hang out with him next time because we're gonna end it off right there. Uh, I feel like stuff is gonna pop off. Well, first off, first off. Okay. Literally next week. Next week is the full moon. And old what the, what the freak is this? Career experience? I don't know what what's happening here. Next week's the full moon. They just broke her out of jail. Out of the hospital. Stuff's about to pop off. And I feel like it's gonna get caught into a whole bunch of cutscenes. So we'll do that in the next recording. Also, we, we, we got we got Mitsuru. We got Mitsuru. That's what we was working towards. We gotta work her work on her now though. But until next time. Peace.